Right, happy Friday! Hey guys, it's actually Friday today. It is! Yeah. I haven't been here on a Friday in a long time. That's Cheers! Right. And I brought a limoncello LaCroix for Noah because these are my new favorite and I'm obsessed. Love sparkling water in this. But isn't this good? It is delicious. It's like lemon meringue. Yeah, people either love of, it or hate it. With a bunch of whipped cream. <laughs> love yeah, it. Yeah, it kind of does do that. All right, so today we're going to be talking about written rules in prison. Noah, while he's in prison on construction and style, wrote two different blog posts, written rules and unwritten rules. And both have been just incredible resources. And so I said, let's talk about those and let's um, kind of go back to that topic and recreate a blog post. So he's written an awesome blog post. Go check it out on the written rules. Again, he incorporated stories that I first time hearing them and I'm just wowed and fascinated by them. And what also just is so fascinating about all this is it's written rules. So they're written down, but yet still it's things that I would never think like oh that makes sense or oh yeah that should <laughs> yeah so we're gonna dive into some of those today yeah and there's a there's a handbook that you get as soon as you enter prison I did seven years I never looked at the handbook a couple right. times I looked at it for to see oh what's this shot or what's that mm -hmm. shot but that's it I never read it and you're supposed to read it nobody reads it I bet some people read it yeah. right white collar guys right all right so we're gonna dive into these rules so the blog post is seven written rules of prison um, so number one written rule is don't miss or mess up count time. And so Noah in this blog post wrote about a story. I'll let you expand yeah. on that. So when he did mess it up, when he did so mess count, up time, count time, count time is stand up count. You do it on the weekdays at 4 p.m. and then either 9 or 10 p.m. And on the weekends, there's also a morning 10 a.m. count and then the 4 p.m. and then 9 or 10, uh, depending on the institution. And, and even you need with two. two um, sorry, so when we would go visit him too, there would be count times. So a lot of times then they're calling things, lights are turning on, they all have to leave yeah. the Yeah, we would all area. walk outside, they would, Berglund, 11617059, so on and so yeah. forth, and they'd read all of us off and then we're counting. Yeah. And uh, it's just uh, accountability for them to make sure, okay, we have 962 inmates and 962 are accounted for. And they do that nationwide for all these but um, officers even the coolest officers that don't care about s tobacco don't care about gambling don't care about stealing food from the kitchen that just want to just do their job do their nine to five and go home they will freak out at count time if you mess up count time that is all everybody asks there's not one officer that doesn't hate when people are making noise or uh, disrupting count time. It's probably like wrangling your kids together this morning yep. and trying to get them in the car to go and it's like they're not listening, they're not getting the car, like I lose it, I can see how the yeah. officer was. So one time in Milan, I disrupted count. I didn't catch it, they walked in, I was talking, I, sh I shut up for a minute, as it was too as late. Them as soon room. as he walked in, I'm like, oh, but it was too late. He flipped out, he came, he stopped at my cube on the way back, and he said, you don't want to shut the hell up during count time, I'll be back. And he came back and he ripped up every single roommate's locker except for mine. He left mine alone to prove a point. Everybody was pissed. And if I would have been in, uh, on bad terms with anyone in that room, that could have caused conflict. And it wasn't right for the officer to do that, but he also proved a point. I never disrupted mm -hmm. count time again. So it's, it's hard to say whether what so he, he did was yeah. right or wrong. So he put no in a position too that ultimately could have got him hurt um, because other, other inmates would have gotten mad you know and but that's prison yeah that's prison and that's what he's seen has happened too um and so i want to ask one more question so for count time over the last seven years were you ever in a situation where people did go missing from the compound uh yeah well a guy hung himself in my yeah, so right. all of a sudden the compound shut down they're not reopening it chow's not happening and we're like okay what's going on all of a sudden some guy hit out in facilities right. hung himself uh people from yankton more than probably at least three or four people while I was at Yankton in the five years took off. So made a run for it? Yeah, or yeah. they were out hanging out with their girlfriend or out getting drunk and they weren't able to sneak back on the compound. Mm -hmm. They okay. found out they were gone. They do an emergency count and somebody's missing. So they would also do lockdown census emergency counts. They th think somebody's missing, stuff like that. Okay, yeah. That's all the stories. All right, written rule number two is don't go in the compound unless the compound is open. Um, and explain what the compound even is. Okay, so the compound is everything other than 
housing units, facilities, education, recreation. So the, the compound is made up of buildings and then the outside area that doesn't include recreation. Because recreation, you can roam free inside, even if there's an outside rec yard. But the compound is just where you go to and from. If there's benches on the compound, you don't sit on them. Why don't, why can't you, why are there benches on the compound? I have no idea, but you still can't sit on them, which is freaking nuts in my, in my yeah. So take them off the compound, but they don't. They leave them on there so just guys, so they can yell sure. at you. That's the Bureau. Um, yeah, that was kind of funny to me. And so moving on to written rule number three, listen to the announcements on the PA system. Yeah, when you first get to the, when you first get to prison, that PA system will sound like Spanish, Chinese, you can't, it sounds like somebody is this close to the bank of Yeah, so do your best, but don't get hung up on it. You can ask someone near you, hey, what they say. I used and to do that. why is that important? Because like... Because they might be calling you somewhere. Okay. And they might be saying, Berglin, up, report to the lieutenant's up. office. Or Berglin, report to medical. And I missed a call out. Or I was supposed to be here or they just need me for something and if you don't respond to that they'll do a lockdown census people will get mad at you because people are at recreation people are doing stuff and now they got to stop their workouts they got to stop doing whatever yeah. they're doing to go back to the housing unit because you couldn't make it to wherever they were calling yeah, you to go and people sense. get pissed at you so yeah. Well, and even too, and during visitation again, they're probably calling your name over the PA system. They've know. shut down visiting because they yeah. couldn't find people. Right. So you can, you will, and if people's family drove from California, right. they will be freaking pissed at you and they will find right. you. One, two, there's times where we were sitting there for an hour waiting and you were like, either you didn't hear your name or they never called yeah. it. But yeah. Um, written rule number four, check the call-out sheet. What is the call-out sheet? Yeah, so every afternoon they put out a call-out sheet for the, for the next day. A call out could be something at medical, a class you signed up for, a job change, a bunk move. Um, so whenever you put in for something, oh, there's this class at education that I really want to take, that call out sheet will notify you if you got into the class. Got it. Yep, yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, rule number five, and this was one that I was really educated on throughout all the years that Noah's in prison, is find a job or they will find you, find one for you. Um, and yeah. this is something that was new to me where I just kind of assumed that when you went to prison you could just kind of like freeload and that is not the case at all. No. And we've talked about in previous topics and blog posts and videos, happy hour chats too, is like they they have bills to pay, they have rent to pay, they have food to pay, they have expenses while you are in prison and you have to have a job. It's not a non-negotiable. Um, yep. so yeah. Even though you only make 12, 20 cents an hour um, <laughs> and it might not be the most rewarding job, the thing is is there's always a job on the compound that nobody wants to do and therefore they need bodies there so if you don't find a job they will stick you on that detail that nobody wants to do right. if it's winter time you will be shoveling snow in the middle of the night if it's summertime you'll be out in 100 degree weather mowing lawns um day compound wasn't a job that a lot of people like to do some people did like to do it and some people found it rewarding but yeah. most people in prison Sorry to stereotype, but are lazy. Yeah. <laughs> Rule number six, don't cross yellow lines on the sidewalk and keep an eye out for signs. This was also something, and I know you there was um, more enforced rules at um, both of the two different facilities that you were incarcerated at. Yeah. But even things where, yeah, you had to stay within these lines when you walked and there was yeah. move time and you can just move when you wanted yeah. to. And I was like, wow, like you can't just walk that way or that yeah. way or <laughs> yeah my line was a lot stricter there was 10 minute moves there was very clear signs and yellow markings on the sidewalk out of bounds you couldn't go over by the shoe area which is the hole you there's a whole lot of places that were out of bounds there wasn't just areas to hang out there was benches on the compound but you could not sit on them you could not loiter you couldn't stand outside during the 10 minute move and get fresh air the only place you could really be outside and hang out at was the outside recreational yard that's it and in Yankton as I got to the camp it got a lot um, it got a lot less restricted um, you could hang out on the compound yeah. a little bit unless an officer really wanted to get petty um, you know the camp life was a little more easy going 
Um, and so before we do the last one, my question too is if someone isn't reading the handbook, is it okay to ask other inmates once you get to prison? Absolutely. Like, what are the written, yeah. what are the rules? Yeah. Okay. Because some of these, like this, you think it's how, common sense, yeah. but a lot of these aren't just how, common sense. How I learned, and it probably wasn't the best way, but I learned two ways what the rules were. Getting yelled at by the cops and getting made fun of by the inmates. Okay. Those were the two ways. <laughs> Yeah. Most people, here's the crappy part, is say you're about to walk out onto the compound and it's closed. Yeah. 85% of inmates are just going to stand there and watch you do it. Okay. And they're not going to no say, hey buddy, yeah. hey buddy, it's closed. Yeah. They're just going to say, whatever, new guy. Let his dumb ass <laughs> go out on the compound and get in trouble. And they just let you do it, which okay. which sucks. But some, like I used to always say, hey. I was going to say, did you help anyone? Closed. Yes, all the time. <laughs> okay. Because I remembered me. I'm not a... Jackass that just wants to see other All people right. get in so trouble. All right, so last one, number seven, is know the consequences. Yeah, so you want to follow the rules, follow the rules. You don't want to follow the rules, don't want, don't follow the rules. But you know, know the cons, know the consequences. Hundred series shots carry very severe consequences. And this is something Noah has in the blog post. And it's yeah. kind of confusing, but they have different shots, yeah. and that are different. You know, yeah. lowest. So to the violence, highest. violence, rape, murder, uh, cell phones, drug possession. Anything towards staff member, um, those are all 100 series shots. You can get anywhere from 41 days loss of good time. I saw somebody lose 220 days of good time for one cell phone shot. So oh they can take incredible amounts of, of, of good time from you. I mean, that's almost a, another year in prison. Right. I saw people get two consecutive of those. That's over a year in prison just for having a cell phone. Yeah. Which I think, and I say that just for having a cell phone because both are i mean one it's ridiculous to take that much good time but two it's ridiculous to go get another cell phone after you just lost 220 days <laughs> these guys some of them just don't care I would and never. and then the shots get less severe you know stealing food from the chow hall that's a 200 series shot you don't lose as much good time but you still get in trouble 28 days tobacco the only 300 series shot that you can lose good time for 14 days loss of good time and then you have like gambling and yeah. and and having property that you're not supposed to have extra electronics you know, unauthorized possession of property, those are all 300 series shots that you don't lose any good time for. Yeah. It's just a slap on the wrist. They yeah. take your birthday and, uh, and that's it. I love it. So those are our top seven written rules for prison. Check out the blog post and then we're so excited. We'll be back again next Friday. For the Happy hour, yep. And we're gonna do unwritten, which those are just super fascinating to me. Yep. And then we're down to the count town too. Woo, like baby Molitor. Yeah. Let me out. Let me out. So, yeah, four more weeks. Next week will be three more weeks. So hope you guys all have a great weekend. We love, love you, guys. you and we'll chat with you soon.